So my name is Jennifer Matt, and I'm the president and founder of a company called Web to Print Experts. So generally, what my role has been is uh, what we would call the product owner of um, of a software product. So I work for several big um, software companies uh, that were really focused in the print industry. And then about 12 years ago, I started my own company uh, in the same space, uh, building software and uh, consulting um, with people about how they use software in their, in their business related to print. So initially, um, I found First Line because I was um, building a, a custom solution on top of EpiServer. And so EpiServer was like kind of what led me to First Line. And I did my first couple projects on top of EpiServer, but then I branched out and went in a lot of different directions. And what was good is that I that First Line was uh, completely qualified to go wherever I was going, you know. So, and I also when I got a new client, I would actually go to First Line and and really use them as a as another check as to what platform I might build this new solution on. So each time a new customer came to me, I sort of, I had, I always had a project going with First Line, so I would go to them and go, hey, this is the problem we're trying to solve. What platform would you build it on? Or what programming language would you su suggest for this? Or how would you approach this integration? So that's another thing is that, is that they were available for that kind of level of consulting as well. And a lot of people talk about how they spun up an offshore team and nothing got done. And to me, that just shocks me. Like, like, because what that tells me is the offshore team was just going without any direction and they allowed it to happen. And I've seen a lot of offshore teams be, do that, but with First Line, there's no just going without checking back in. Are we, are we in a line with the business priorities? Are we in line with the business objectives? There's constantly asking, because I think a lot of people in the US offshore and they think that the offshore team's just gonna magically know what to do. The offshore team doesn't magically know what to do. They have to be told, but we come back to this as they also should be asking, proactively asking. If they don't know what to do, they should be proactively asking. And so I think that that's the match too with First Line is that they're taking responsibility for getting direction not just being passive, because if you're super passive, you could keep spinning on a project for two years, you get paid, but nothing comes out the other end. I have had huge projects with First Line, and I'm, I'm like, I'm like um, in the Hall of Fame if we are in baseball, like I'm batting a thousand. Like we've had every one come across the finish line, of course not perfect, we're humans, but every one has delivered tremendous value and I think one of the things that I'm looking at now is that almost every project we've worked on with First Line, the company has been acquired or is in the process of being, a lot of them are being acquired. And when I get the call from the owner, the acquiring, you know, people that are packaging up the companies for acquisition, they're going, the technology is the most valuable thing.